Hi guys, back with another video. Um, OBD giveaway closes in two days. Today's Tuesday, closes on Thursday the 20... Let me just check the date. Yeah, close on the 24th, two days left to go. Anyway, a couple of things to do today. First of all, um, I've got a sloshing noise when I brake in my car because the sills are full of water. Obviously, with it being convertible, drain plugs are blocked. Now, I have found one on this side, which I'll just spin you around. There we go. Don't know how long that's going to drain for, but I'll take you around the other side of the car and we'll unblock the other one. Now, I'm just using a screwdriver just to make a little hole in the drain plug. So uh, still, there's loads. Um, so we might put a pot under the other side, actually, just to see how much we get out. Um, that's my daughter's bucket got. I don't know if I'll get that underneath. No, it won't fit under the car. And all my bins are in the way. Anyway, let me just move my bins and I'll show you where this drain plug is. Right, let's just go under the edge of the car. So we are level, pretty much. So you've got the door coming down. And then it's about here. Let me just flick the... Where is it? There. Screwdriver. This here. I'm just going to push my screwdriver in that. No, right, that started to come out, but where is it? I think it's dripping a bit. Lost one, I can't see where my screwdriver is there. I might have to put my car onto some blocks, I think, to get the water back at this end because I'm on a bit of a slope. So look how the other side's doing. And the other side is still pouring out. Yeah, I think I'm going to put some blocks under the front wheels just to tip it back a bit. I'll get back to you in a second. Loads of water in there. Just leave that draining for a bit. Other side still draining. Let's have a look. Yep, that one is still draining as well. Right, so while that's draining, next job I want to do today is my radio surround. Air vents and radio surround. Going to wrap those gloss black. So uh, I get in the house, wash my hands because they're now filthy, and uh, attempt to wrap these. Right, let's attempt to wrap this. My tarbon outside. Oh, attempt to wrap this gloss black and the heater surround glass black so it's obviously a knife to cut it with brake cleaner clean the plastic off my vinyl wrap which has been sat on a radiator to warm it up a pair of scissors to cut the initial shape and I don't have a hot air gun I have a hairdryer so we'll attempt to do it with a hairdryer so first up uh, the wrap I've got is from <coughs> VT Supplies Limited. This is a nice little guide. because obviously it's for wrapping a whole car. I'll put a link in the description as to where I got this from on eBay, if it's successful. So first up, we'll cut a section of wrap that's big enough to cover this. Unfortunately, I don't have a tripod or a stand, so I'm going to have to keep pausing you in between. Right, so I'll cut a section, left myself plenty of overhang. 
Let's get that out of the way at the moment. Just run some brake cleaner over this to get any grease off. I was going to um, spray these gloss black, but with the way the weather is, I mean, obviously it's winter time, I'm not going to be able to dry it outside. So uh, just run the hairdryer over this just to warm it up. It might help if I turn the hairdryer on. Right. right, peel the backing off of this, so I'll just pause again a moment. Right, that's pulled nice and tight over the top, so now I'm going to have to heat this up with a hairdryer just to warm it all up, then we can start pulling it around. I'm trying to stand my phone somewhere so you can see what's going on and see what I can sort out. I can't really find anywhere to stand my phone. What I'm going to do is heat it up and I'm just going to go around pushing as I'm heating it into these edges, which that's cooled down again now. But just go just nice, slowly and steady, pushing it as I heat it. And back to you in a few moments. Right, I think I need to cut some of this out so it starts to wrap around like this has done at the end and on these sides a little bit. So I'm just going to cut a section out of the middle of here and just trim it up a bit, just make a bit short so I can push this right round underneath. Right, that's trimmed down. I'm going to reheat it and just push this all around and uh, get it in. So I'll come back to you when it's all, uh, all wrapped and finished. I think I've got one air bubble just here somewhere. Uh, let's get it tidied up and see what happens. Right, there we go. It's not perfect. It's not brilliant. Um, I don't do this. Never done it before. Well, no, I have done it once before in my other Mark VI. But um, it's just about taking your time. Hopefully once it's in the car and all these bits are covered around the edges, it will look better. So now I'm going to attempt that section, which I've got a funny feeling might be a little bit more difficult. So... Um, I'm going to crack on with this. I'm not going to record any of it, and I'll show you the results when we're done. Jeez, oh, anybody that does this for a living, fair play to you, because it is a ball ache. I'm going to need to redo this one because I've managed to get into this recess here. Um, but I'm going to peel the protective cover off, and we'll go pop it in the car, just see how it looks. Obviously, this has gone all blotchy from the uh, brake cleaner, so I need to clean that up as well. But uh, yeah. I'll get that bit of protective wrapper off, get it in the car, and have a look how it looks. Right, that's back in the car. Now, what can I tell you? One, I need more practice, and I'll probably do it all again. Two, it does look better than it did before. Um, let's just switch around so you can see it. So there we go. So I, need, I need to find something that I can clean this up with to get this muck off of here. I can't come off with a cloth. Slowly it is. We'll get some interior cleaner or something on it. But it looks it looks better. It'll look even better once I've got this new bezel coming. It's weeks I've been waiting for this new bezel to get that sorted out. But um no, it's alright. Not too bad for a first attempt. But, uh, yeah, happy enough. Happy enough with that. So I've got problems with my other Mark VI. Um, the heater resistor keeps blowing, and I've discovered that the wires for the glove box light have started melting, which I think is causing a short through the whole of the electric system. The glove box light is on the same wiring harness as the heater, so my missus at the moment is driving around with no heater only blows on four but it's set on cold the heater matrix isn't blocked because both pipes are hot coming in and out so i think what's happened is the electrics have blown with it in the cold position so when you adjust it it doesn't know that you're adjusting it so i've got a whole new wiring harness coming for that so that 
I'll try and get that in a video, but I might have to do it in the dark because of work. But um, yeah, so there's another video for you for today. Um, I might have another crack at this black wrap again, maybe tomorrow or something off camera. But it looks better than it did before. I don't really like the grey. So uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.